Bunch of Crunch Army, you already know who it is, man. Your motivation guy, back with you once again. So have you been having second thoughts on, you know, what weapons to use this season? Well, we have everything that you need to know in this video, so you gotta stay tuned, man. Options, options, right? Like season five has been a roller coaster so far and has brought us a lot of new loadout options to choose from. And today I wanna to show you the best loadouts that you guys can use to stay on top of your game and win your fights, right? And by the time we finish this video, you're gonna have the confidence and information that you need to always have an edge on your opponents. Speaking of which, all right, it's time for our question of the day. What is your favorite weapon this season? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you guys. All right, without further ado, Let's get this going. Here we go. Season five has brought us a lot of new guns, both unvaulted and brand new additions, and a heap of mobility that is very useful in competitive modes. Some say that they may be overpowered, but many items such as Rift Fish and original P90s have been added to all modes. In addition, the pump has been vaulted and this impacts the meta immensely when taking fights. So the charge and tactical shotgun meta have been brought back this season along with some buffs. These shotguns are more consistent and deal more damage than their previous counterparts. When playing with attack or charge, you have to be ready just to switch up your aggression quickly and be ready to fight efficiently. If you hit for low amounts of damage, which is very common with the tactical shotgun, you have to keep playing smartly, man, and just taking efficient peaks, okay? However, I will say this, with the charge shotgun, you need one big hit and get ready to push after that. These guns require accuracy, especially the attack, but can also be paired with other guns for insane amounts of damage. Yeah, you heard it right, man. The P90s are back, ladies and gentlemen. This gun is arguably the best SMG to date and really does enormous amounts of damage in a very short amount of time. Finding these guns takes little to no effort as they are just very common in fishing spots and challenging NPCs. Another new addition to the loot pool this season is the infamous Dragon's Breath Shotgun. Doing enormous amounts of damage, this shotgun is truly a hard hitter. However, this gun can be fired once. Then you must reload to shoot again. The downside may seem horrible, but it can easily be countered. All right, guys, now before we get into the rest of this video, make sure to check out Clix's new master course right now on ProGuides.com. All right, we also have pro coaches tailored to help you guys improve quickly. Click the link below or the top right to get started today. All right, so when engaging in a close range fight, your two main weapons would be your primary and secondary weapon, right? When playing a solo game mode, your secondary weapon should most likely be an AR to get picks and late game refreshes. In a team mode, you should be fine using an SMG as long as your teammates support you with an AR spray. These are mostly like a preference in team modes, but make sure to always carry an AR in solos. The first and arguably best loadout to carry would be the charged shotgun combined with an SMG. The charged shotgun does a lethal amount of damage in close range and even has a higher ammo capacity. When fully charged, you can deal 100 plus damage and remove your opponent's shields with ease. Now that the great charge shotgun is vaulted, your chances of fighting higher rarity charges is very high. Finding a P90 might be a struggle in some areas of the map, but good accuracy paired with a normal SMG will do the work just fine. This loadout is the best to use due to the damage you can deal and how versatile that you can play. Like as long as you have a good amount of HP and material, you can easily play defensively by just waiting for your opponent with your charge up, right? And just finish the kill very quickly with an SMG. Some may argue that the Dragon's Breath Shotgun does like way more damage and it's just better to pair with an SMG, but the magazine size requires it to reload after one shot. And if you miss, <laughs> it's probably game over. Your opponent has a huge advantage over you and you really just have to rely on your secondary weapon. Our second loadout that we recommend that you gotta start using is the tactical shotgun and heavy AR. The damage gap between a tactical and a charged shotgun is enormous, so we recommend that you stick to using the purple and gold variants of attack to dominate your opponents. The heavy AR has received a huge accuracy buff and rewards really good aimers very well. When pushing your opponent's box, using a heavy AR is very lethal. When hip firing with a heavy, the damage is like unfair compared to the normal AR when using it as your secondary weapon. 
In addition to our second loadout, using an AR or SMG as your secondary weapon can be a hard choice sometimes, right? I get it. But use the scenario that you're in to determine what you want to pick up. Like say you're in an in-game situation, right? And you need to get quick kills from the low ground. You should always use an SMG as your secondary as they're just easier to get you quicker kills when fighting in congested areas. It's mostly a preference, right? But guns like the Dragon's Breath should usually have like an SMG along with it, or it could be the reason why you lose your fight. You might be wondering what you should do if your loot isn't the best in an off-spawn fight. Just remember guys, fighting off-spawn is all about doing the most damage to your opponent in the least amount of time possible. If you want to know more about this topic, you got to check out our previous video on some basic tips to survive off-spawn. In an off-spawn fight, picking up a charged shotgun would be optimal. The charge is the optimal shotgun to use and always just use them over tactical shotguns in an off-spawn fight, all right? They help you conserve mats and, you know, scaring your opponents, which are two big factors and winning off spawn. Don't be surprised if your favorite uncontested spots like Coral Islands or Craggy Cliffs are populated this season because dropping at a spot that has a plethora of fishing spots is very crucial in this season. Two new mobility items have been added to all parts of the map, the Rip Fish and the Zero Point Fish. These fish are absolutely game-changing items and they allow the ability of traveling long distances and rotating without using any materials at all. If you've already played this season, we can already tell how common these fish are. The rarity for both fish are around like 45%, which is almost guaranteed when you're fishing in multiple spots. Another good thing is that the inventory capacity of these fish, like two rift fish can be held at once and zero point fish have stacks of threes. Without a doubt, you should always carry a stack of these fish in any game mode that you play. All right, guys, so to narrow down what type of weapons that you should use when fighting certain scenarios, we got some tips that you guys should use. Here we go. The first scenario that you would put in when playing a game is spawn fighting. The optimal loadout for a basic off spawn fight would be obviously the best guns that you want to find out of the spot that you landed at, right? To determine which are the best, pay attention to your mats. Pay attention to your ammo and shields as well. Like the charge is very good to box up and just hide with and can lead to quick kills to just catch your opponents off guard. The attack, however, is very lethal when you utilize your mats properly. Peace control is a huge factor that wins you fights with attack. And once you have your opponent boxed up, it's basically a free kill. If you want to learn more about perfecting your peace control, check out our previous video, all right? Take smart peeks, guys, and just always try to have more HP than your opponent. If you're in a rough spot and you don't get what you're looking for while looting, always take a charge for those nitty gritty 50-50 fights. In a mid-game fight, decide how you want to play. Like, if you need to play aggressive and get a high kill game, purple and gold tacks are the best. The damage on the higher rarities of the tactical shotgun is very consistent, and it gives you a huge advantage on someone using a blue tack or worse. The high ammo capacity and damage per second is not even comparable to a charge, and is without a doubt the best shotgun for close-range fighting. So in a trio mode, tacks also give you a huge advantage due to the amount of time that you can actually shoot without having to back off and reload. In-game fights are very, very tough. I get it. And you know what? You got to take close consideration of your positioning and HP. Fighting in-game is all about staying ahead of everybody else. And the charge shotgun is a game changer. Fragging out can never be easier in the in-game, especially when everybody has less than 120 HP. Charges deal a lot of body damage and really can take out your opponents without giving them a single chance. Without a doubt, guys, if you find a charge shotgun that is better than your current tactical, always take it. All right, guys, so to recap this video, we want you guys to remember that every gun has its pros and cons, right? But analyzing the scenario and picking the right one is what gives you guys the upper hand. So the charged shotgun shows confidence in early and mid-game fights, and it's really just hard to counter against, you know, with the tax shotgun. Practice the game, guys. Have fun in Arena or, you know, just many updated creative maps such as 1v1 Realistic by Finest. And remember our tips, gotta remember our tips. Speaking of which, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like on the video. You can always subscribe with the bell on for more. All right guys, until the next one, push your crunch army, keep grinding, I'll see you soon.